everyone, my name is Namash Medic one and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a static IP address. This is generally the same way on Windows 7 and Windows XP, but I am not sure about Windows Vista. So of course, on Windows XP, what you would do is you click your Start button here, and you go to Control Panel, or you might have a tab here for Network. You're going to click Network, and then you're going to, of course, no, you probably haven't categorized, you're going to go to your Network and Internet. That's generally the same on Windows XP and Windows 7, mind you. So you're in your Network Sharing Center. So what you're going to do is go to your Adapters, which will be in your Network tab under Windows XP. So you're going to want to find the adapter you're currently using to access the Internet. Currently I'm using this Cisco one right here, which is my wireless network adapter from D-Link. Now, to find out the rest of the information we're going to need, we're going to go to Wireless Network Care. We're going to click that click details now we have that open this is all the information we're going to need we're going to click properties on your adapter that you're currently using we're going to go to internet protocol version 4 we're going to click properties on that and generally with you it'll be set to this obtain your IP address automatically and obtain DNS server automatically so what this will do is it means every time you restart your computer generally or you restart your router it's going to assign a new IP address other bits of information. So the whole point of setting it to static is so it doesn't do that every time you restart your computer. So as you can see our IP address is this, so we're going to enter that in here. Now we have done that, got that down. Now subnet mask will generally be the same, so it'll automatically fill it in with that. Now we're going to enter in our default gateway. And our default gateway is generally what we use to access our router's admin page. Our DNS server will generally be the modem, or if you have another router that is a router and modem combo, it will be that. So that's the DNS server, which is 192.168.2.1. Now that we have this all entered in, it is successfully a static IP address. Now, it will be different on every computer, the IP and the default gateway and the DNS generally will be different. But make sure to follow these steps and copy down the information here and put it here and you will have a static IP address. Enjoy. Ignore this by the way. This is... no need to worry unless you're really messing around. So now your IP is static and Windows wants to change its current performance scheme but we don't care. So if you like my content or you like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and uh, subscribe if you want more. Thanks, have a great day.